folks what is up everybody how's everybody doing how's everyone doing out there welcome welcome back to the crypt i know i'm a little early but i needed to uh i wanted to do something and if i waited till uh, another half an hour um the uh, place is gonna be closed so i have something a little special for you guys i'm just nuts uh Okay. All right. So, um, all right. So here, let, let me start this off. And I'll play a little bit of Revy here, and then I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do before they close. <laughs> because this guy is trying to prove that he he can't get food anywhere else. Just to, just to you know, and he, they don't take EBT and all these lies and stuff. He can only get Subway. He's our awful provider and all this bull crap. Uh, but what's up, everybody? Shady for life, Philly guy. They're adult service. Here we go. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Janine. Yeah, right. They're dumb as rocks. Hey, Charlie. Shady for life. Little Miss Cindy. Little Penny. Audie. Okay, well here, let, let me uh let me let me start and then I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do to make sense of all this. I like the stream folks, let's get into it. Hey guys, it's me again. Um I I have a huge favor to ask you if you can help Ha <laughs> I'm sure that's the only huge thing you have, right? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha Bum. Help me out with this, and you, and people hey, always Danica. come through. It's so amazing, Dude, brothers. Uh, and it gives me hope. It really does give me hope in in generally in humanity. When uh, I come to you and I go, I'm in need, and and you help. Uh, I'm this car situation because I, if you didn't know, the Durango oh. is is incapacitated. I can't use it, uh, and the Cadillac I have is is the battery is done battery's done in it so i have no means of transportation right now. jump it dude take the other car to the durango or take the durango to the cadillac and jump it you waste of space now and the two places that are here that i, I can get food at mm -hmm. do not accept the ebt card no so what i'm asking they don't they, they don't a gas station does not accept the ebt card are you sure rev because I'm going to find out, folks. Yes, I will do that right now. <laughs> Skin is like, if whatever you, you can afford for food, this is for food, nothing else. Um, Shani really, her blood sugar can be weird, and, and she really needs I bet. something substantial to put in her stomach. So from, from you, from me to you to God, if you can, if you can find this in your heart to help me out, because otherwise I'd have to walk on the highway and oh. where I'm at, it's like 65 miles an hour on the highway. And it's, I get pushed forward when I'm walking on the, it's insane. Like I can't do that. It's, it's pretty far away that, that I'd have to walk. And I would have to, it's like an hour hey. walk and then an hour back, but I'd be lugging stuff with me. It's insane. It's like crazy. Exactly. I would do it, but I, Somebody that would is more of a man than me because that's it's it's scary being on a 65 mile per hour highway walking on it when the walking area is about that big. So if you can, so which is it? Is it the walking area that big, or they don't take EBT at a gas station that that has slot machines, bro? Slot machines. Maybe you and Shane just you want to go there and play the slots, you know? That's crazy that your gas station has slot machines. I mean, I, I'm st I still can't get over gas stations that have full alcohol, let alone slot machines. You can do this for me, and, and Shani, bless you, and thank you. I, this is strictly for food. Blessing for food. God bless you. Thank you. Okay. All right, so what that baby carrot is trying to insinuate is that you can't get food stamps, right? Uh, or you can't get food on the food stamp card where he is well let's find out shall we i so happen to know the gas station that is right across the street from where they are so i'm gonna call them right now on speakerphone so <laughs> this is my little gift for you guys check this out hold on hold on let me let me 
Just let me know if you can hear this. I'm gonna put this on speaker. Here, I will. I'll turn this this off. <laughs> Guys, don't make me laugh. Okay, don't make me laugh. <clears throat> You hear that? Yes. Hi, brother. Um, I was wondering. I'm at the hotel down the street, and I was wondering if you guys take EBT card for foods. Sorry. Do you take EBT for foods? No, we don't. Oh, okay, I'll just make it sure. Thank you, brother. Ha. All right. Well, man. Well, I guess he wasn't lying. <laughs> but hey, I had to find out. I had to find out. I had to find out. They said they don't. She did. <laughs> I know, dude. I'm just, I'm just. They make me insane. Okay, they make me insane. All right, let's let's get into another one before I get in trouble. <laughs> Hi again, guys. <clears throat> All right. Well, at least we know one thing, folks. We know one thing. Oh my god, Rev told the truth, right, Danica? Right? I am just as surprised as you. <laughs> Thank you, brother. <laughs> brother in Christ and all. <laughs> yes, I, I am surprised. Hey, Vultures. Well, that's one of the truth, right? Right? Family dollar does. <laughs> well, you know... And there's a golf down the street. There's a maybe I can call the golf station down the street. Hold on, let me look at that while I play this. Uh, so the lighting in here is not crap. Now you can see my face. Okay, I'm doing fine. Okay. Uh, this is the cacophony and 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 the clanging symbols of noise that's being <laughs> posted on William's video that I uploaded. It's the clanging symbols with no meaning at all. You got, I, th look, if you think that it's abusive for Shani and I to be okay with William speaking his mind, then mm -hmm. you just disagree with us as parents. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay. For anyone who doesn't know, these these pieces of trash had their own um, uh, kid try to uh, fight their online battles for them, which is a lot of problems. Biggest problem is he's supposed to be working on himself, the older son. And Shani says he's 16. He says he's 15. First of all, which is it? And second of all, where was the uh, where was the the uh, the foster parents when you were making him? Go on Skype and fight your battles. You know, how dare you, Rev? How dare you and Shani let that kid do that? That's some horrible shit, bro. You guys do not care about his well-being at all to let him do that shit. We think it's a good thing for him to have his feelings out and for him hey, to Beth. be able to voice his opinion if he wants to. And as he said eloquently, he's doing yeah, nothing he has no but idea. eloquent comments that uh, that are all bam answering your questions. He's answering your questions of what's true. Yeah. Well, if that's true, then he wouldn't be so confused on what to say and what's going on. It would be this is what happened and that's it. Rev, he said that you can't get a job because you'll beat up the other employees. So you'll get you'll get you'll get a uh, handsy. I mean, come on, dude. What is, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Why should he think that you're gonna like, you know, get violent every time? That's that's a problem. Eloquently, which is even more amazing. The point of this all, I see you absolute. I don't know what's wrong with you. You're trying to say that this is criminal that the boy is talking. You're, you're trying you're trying to say that people that kids that are in foster care can't be on the internet they're on the internet all day oh my god that no no that's not what people are saying stupid stop it stop it <laughs> they're saying that they shouldn't be at, you should they shouldn't be fighting your battles that's not good rev that looks really bad they're supposed to be learning how to be productive members of society 
And as soon as you guys talk to them on Skype, because we know you can't see them face to face because, uh, you know, drug use and all folks, <laughs> you uh, right away, it's make this Skype call and say that uh, we weren't being abused. Yeah. If they weren't being abused, then why the fuck are they not with you guys? Right. <laughs> you make no sense, Rev. No sense at all. But keep keep on keep on shilling or uh, grifting for money. What is it? What do you what do you want now? Foster care. You're liars. It's so disgusting. And it look. I took a hit from this. I did because public opinion is everything. What? But the boy needs the to speak. The boy. The boy needs a voice. Well, just the way by the way you refer to him, <laughs> the boy. Dude, you are awful. There is a special place in hell for you where they're going to have all the uh, pitchforks going up your ass, man. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to love it. Dude, I don't know if this is self-like reflection on you and Shani or you're just like, you have nothing else to say, but this is this is just awful, awful, awful shit. Hold on, let me, I think I found the, the other gas station. He says a uh, golf station that's not far behind, but hold on, let me just make sure I got the right information. You flagged it on Twitch off. It can't. It's gone. It's not on Twitch. So I have to come and I have to look. I'm not going to have Ew. my son be silenced by a bunch of idiots. He's not you your are. son. And liars, liars and idiots that believe everything that's told to you. If it's except, except it's from William. Yeah, except from the actual party involved that matters, which is Will. But, but but that's really Will, and he's probably going to do a video someday, someday about all this stuff. I hope so. It. I hope so. I can't wait. How about we hear from the one who actually got kicked, Rev? How does he feel about you <laughs> and his quote-unquote mother? Hey, come on. The, you're the older one, he, he didn't even know what to say. He didn't even know what to say. Instead of buying Shani a sub... He should have given gas money to another resident to go shop, right? Or go on Amazon. Amazon takes EBT. Walmart takes EBT. They'll bring it right to the door and run away as far as they can because when, you know, once they the smell hits them, folks. We would never pressure him to do anything. He came to us. He said this too in the comments. Lies. He came to us saying, "Let's do this." You Yeah, in the comments. In the comments, what, what he's referring to is there's someone with his son's, uh, with Shani's son's name in it. But the problem is the account was made yesterday. Dude, you think, how stupid you think we are? <laughs> it was made yesterday and he's in the comments defending you guys. Yeah. Looks a little sus. Get that? How is that abusive to Will? He's a man and wants to speak. Because he actually does love us and we love him. Like, that's what a family thing is. Of course, you people are so evil. It's like, that's evil to you. You're sick. And I, it's really, you're doing this to a boy. You're not just, it's a every boy. comment to him should be just perfect and beautiful. And I think most of you have been kind, the ones that have talked to Will. Most of them, I think. Might be some decency left in you. But the point is, he has every right to have a voice. And if he just made a channel and made a video, nobody would hear him. So the way to be heard is go on Mom's Twitch and go on Dad's YouTube. Yeah. And there's nothing. Go on Mom's Twitch and go on Daddy's YouTube. All right, there's a mobile station right down the street here. I'm going to call that one. Because I'm going to find out. I want to know if this dude is legit telling the truth. But again, I know he can just get an online order. Yes, hi. Um, I was just wondering if you guys take EBT for foods. Uh, no, man. Okay. Okay, thanks, brother. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Yo, I want to do this every day. I just want to call everybody in <laughs> and just talk like that. <laughs> abusive about it. Insanity. You know they're still on Prime? Wow, okay. 
Well, that's two of the stations. Well, you know what? That's crazy. Most gas stations I know take uh, some sort of EBT. But in the end, like I said, they can call Amazon. There's no reason to beg it from anybody else. Let's see. Oh, prayer request. Because I am not going to show the other one. I think that was disgusting. Straight up disgusting. Prayer request for this for the fatty. Rev, what are you doing with your life, man? You're, she tells you to make a video and then you make these stupid ass videos, man. You got to get a backbone, dude. You need to get a, a spine. Hey guys, God bless you. I I think this is the last one for the night. Um. Uh, oh yes, sunshine. I, this is this is a video strict. Once I'm done with all these uh, smaller ones, yes, I will. Strictly just for you get all the tea for today. <laughs> prayer for Shani because right now she's got massive pain in her neck, and I, we're thinking it, yeah, it, right? that the osteoarthritis is spreading. You know what, vultures? That's that is good. That's a good comment. Because he said he just said that the uh, <laughs> the hotel that he is staying at is full of quote unquote meth heads. <laughs> I'm seeing the biggest one right here, <laughs> so I could see why they wouldn't want to do that. Just everywhere at this point. So uh, please, like it's 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 a really rough <laughs> going where we're at right now, guys. Like very bare bones minimum oh he uh, did everything. all right i'll play that next and uh getting to a hospital is would be difficult so um no you're right here we really need your prayers from from the Christians. i see you I, I appreciate you guys and i love you and um i know that when you send them up uh he, he hears it in the throne room and things are starting to happen so um please pray for shanny's health for for her for her pain levels because they've been so insane that's specifically what you would pray for we need to pray for the levels of pain because it's 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 ridiculous and there's no let up of it oh you see how he looks at her to make sure he's saying the right thing and hmm. she's doing everything she can to Facts. stay in the least amount of pain possible so right um, patty <laughs> thank you let her suffer Awful people. Don't be like this. Don't be like this. Ooh, now now he's threatening G Man. Man, this 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 saga just won't end. Okay, so I got another video, and for the people that are asking for live streams, I cannot do them here. Because it's just not something that works <laughs> for for to be able to do said good live stream. That's why I'm doing uploaded videos. It's the only way I can really communicate. So, um, wow. You saw, uh, he'll probably delete the comment in the chat. Um, I have some theories and ideas. If it's 37 a night, maybe they bring it down to like 30 something, $32 a night. You know, they probably pay, pays bi-weekly. And I did hear uh, from Burnt Toast that maybe one of Rev's friends uh, works at that place to help him, you know, to help him out. I mean, if I was Rev, I would try to work at that hotel, you know, sweep up around the place, you know, clean up after the meth heads. <laughs> He's doing a thing right now and in, 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 uh, going to pwn me or whatever, go full G-Man on me. And I care so much. But I I really do, because it's really crazy that, that you think you have a friend and it's just, it's just, whoa, the knife just like literally it Hi, comes Chelsea. out of nowhere, man. You can't see it coming. The knife literally comes out of nowhere. Um, this is to G-Man, and I know you'll hear it. You might play this uh, tonight on your list. Well, you know, G-Man just said on his previous video that I want to get into sometime this week that, uh, you know, he, he still gets a little bit of money that's a little bit left over from, from all that stock. So I think there's a little bit left, and they know they just need to give it out in small increments. Otherwise... 
Rev will make Shani just blow it off. A little hate fest. And yes, I'm talking about the reaction money. channel. <laughs> you become them. Good job. Oh, stop. This is to Mr. Gary Moore, Mr. Gary Lamont Moore. Okay, I'm saying man, he's such a doxer. Serious. Okay. If you try to contact me or Shani ever again, we're gonna make a police report about the stuff you told us, <laughs> and we're gonna have a restraining order immediately after that. Dude, the guy was paying for you. You know, like yeah, he was a child abuse enabler, but still, he was paying for you enablers. And we're we're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. You guys, you guys, you two expect way too much from people. We want nothing to do with you ever again because you're fucking insane. Well, look who's talking. Look who's talking, bro. <laughs> All right, let me hear this ridiculous one. Hey, guys, how you doing? Okay, this is, okay. Uh, this is very much like an emergency because there no money came in from uh, the... The video I did about needing food, which is whatever, you know. Good. Um, I was able to to have a kind person provide some money so that I could at least get a sub for Shani. He had a six inch sub. sub. <laughs> That's the only six inches she's getting, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no wonder why she's so pissed off. But that's not enough for her for the whole day. Of course, it's not. So, uh, yeah, trash. She, uh, she, she had her kid go on Skype and do it, and it was taken off Twitch. And then Red put it on his channel. It's still up, but uh, G Man made this big blanket statement on his channel and on uh, Miss Parker's channel that nobody should review it, nobody should put it on their channel. He was very adamant, he was warning people, don't do it, even though you can't see his face. He said that this is one of Shani's games to strike channels. So I will not play it. Uh, it, it basically, rest assured, it was it was just uh, the older son saying that they weren't abused. But he sounded like he was being coached. And then it got to a point where he didn't know what to say because he's literally not with, standing right next to them because they refused to take a drug test to see him face to face. It was a Skype call. Uh, I guess a private Skype call. You like that? You like that, you <laughs> fat fucking n Philly what? guy donated $2 through Super like Chat. That? Make you sure like you like that, the stream, you folks. Fat fucking Thanks, Philly guy. <laughs> I love that one. Someone made, made them spaghetti. 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 <laughs> they really did? Oh. Oh, thanks. Thank you for letting me know that. But yeah, thank you, Philly. Yeah, I appreciate it, bro this point hashtag philadelphia <laughs> because you're not going to believe some of the stuff in this this place that we're at is is pretty much a drug motel yeah and uh <laughs> i wonder why now that i don't have a ride i am having to ask other people for help to get to the store and they are definitely people that are involved with drugs okay rev amazon you were able to make an Amazon wish list. You remember you had all those ridiculous things, like those weird dildos and the the, the weird gimp outfits. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. I appreciate it. That's awesome. <laughs> Welcome. Um yeah, so yeah, so he had all these stuff on his Amazon wish list, but you you don't know how to call and get Amazon to deliver you food the same day. So, yeah, this is bullshit. And someone said uh, a good um, comment in the chat. They said, why can't Rev get his own food stamp card or his own food stamps? And I'm like, yo, you are right. He should. They should both be applying, um, you know, differently. And this way they, that they can take care of themselves. Because it seems like Shani has to eat and Rev has to sit there and not eat. Um, like always. I do not want to be involved with these people, but Shani is at the end of her rope and calling me a shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. You let me know. So I need to do something. And and I'm not used to these scenarios. I, I silver spoon boy. No, I'm not used <laughs> right? to this. And it's I'm having mouth. severe <laughs> mental uh, bad stuff, which is going to be ignored because it has to be. Because nobody else is helping us. Um. What I'm asking you at this point is, could you uh, maybe call call authorities 
um, and inform them that we are in a dire need yeah. of, of exactly. adult social help. I know that it's a thing now, and I think it's fantastic when I heard about it. Yeah, that thank there you. is a thing called adult human services. Uh, like it's like CPS, but it's for adults that need that that cannot yeah. handle. Yeah, they definitely did. Well, you know, like I, like the G-man said, they're good on food. Anytime it's this stuff, it's they're out of their delta eight, which we all know they've been taken. G-man has a huge picture. Of the Delta 8 they gave them. So when they're like this, they need to get their, their little fix. Cheryl Galleran has just donated $9.99 through Super Chat. Oh, thank Finally you. Finally could become a member Draven. Lol. Lol. <laughs> thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> thank you so much. Haze. This is why SSI is so difficult because all the losers. <laughs> yeah, I know. Everyone get all these people shitting on it. You know, this is why. You know, when you got to talk to the, your local tax uh, payers, be like, hey, these people. <laughs> we had to put them in a room or something. What they're going through and they, and they need help. Thanks, I've been looking for numbers and stuff to call, and we can't even call a number if we had a number. This is the issue. We had a phone through G-Man that it's trashed, it's over, the, the, the phone is done. So we have no means of communication besides the Wi-Fi in this place and making a video to you guys. Oh, um, I said either check out Vampire Hunter D or Fist of the North Star. Those are a couple of my favorites. I mean, I like stuff where people can just die and come back to life. So, you know, if, if that's involved in your anime, then you got me. Yeah, it's good stuff. So actually, what I am pleading hey, for you to do is actually call authorities to get <laughs> help. Looks nervous. <laughs> um, adult human services, because it's my mental health is is at a, the cracking point at this Thank point. You. I know how I feel on the inside when the, when psychotic breaks can come. So we we literally need like, same here. <laughs> uh, if just call call uh, whoever you guys call. To, to, to have authority show up because we need it. Yeah, uh, Charlie, it, it is tough. I mean, people rarely get it the first time around. So when Shane's just like, I'll be able to walk in and no problem, it's like, wow, you are not only insulting our intelligence right now, but it seems like you never lived in the United States. Because no matter what state you're in, it's you basically like the same. You like that, you fat fucking n Ree! Isabella Rose like donated that? two dollars through like super that, chat. Every since they moved to PA, mm. Reverend gets his own EBT. Reverend gets his oh okay. Ever since they moved, okay. Thanks. I was wondering because someone asked me like, does why don't he just get his own? Oh, I thought you said I can't stand Shane. She's on her period. I'm like, what? <laughs> My brain just twisted those two <laughs> words around. But th thank you, Isabel. I appreciate it. And, and thanks for the info. I didn't know that uh, that he was getting that. And they get it cut up twice a month. Um, to try to make them, like, la make it last if they can't make it last for themselves. So, let's see. Five more days, they'll have EBT again. Oh, yes, it just did. Usually it takes a second. I wish things could stay friendly in these times See? of crisis between, you know. I don't know why. Yeah. All right. It, thank you. All right. Um, it, and I, I, I hope to hear a knock at the door because it will it will start to um, rectify his rectum, the physical <laughs> and and psychological torture that we're being put through at this point without knowing what to do. Leave her, Rev. You guys need to leave each other. I'm not saying that, that she's at fault. I'm, not saying, I'm saying you're both at fault and you're in a toxic relationship. You guys should get out of that. That's what you do. And then go somewhere and get like a little one bedroom place. Or maybe go into some sort of rehab or like after program, anything like that. Okay, so yeah, after I just saw that one. After, uh, after this one, I'll play that next one. Thanks for telling me. 
in order to get food. It wasn't coming up because at first. it's very hard. It's, Go back to the tent. <laughs> in this area that I can walk to, the, the store, I have to walk on the highway, and it's insane. I can't walk on the highway. No one here has rides. This is what we're dealing with. Rev, Rev, Rev. I looked at the map in how far you are. It's it's not that far, man. You can't walk on the side. You, you, I thought you were a P, Pennsylvania boy. I heard people in PA walk on the side of, of the highway all the time. What the hell are you talking about? So we're at the end of a rope, and it, we encourage, hang yourself with uh, it. <laughs> please, like call authorities and and help us out with it because I know if I get a knock at the door and it's a policeman, I and I explain what's going on, then he'll understand and we can get some help because we need long term adult service help. Thank you. Wow, man, he is, he is. All right, before I play this video that just came out. Cause uh, no, no wonder. Okay, I guess I have to re refresh uh, it. But thank you for letting me know. Cause sometimes I can't see it. But then I was like, oh, I see it on my phone. I just want to show one of his community tabs. Okay. Um, today was another milestone at the institution. Ha! A whole week here, I haven't shit my pants. Ha ha ha! See, no marks on me. Ha! I know this needs to be reported to the proper authorities. Ha ha! Perhaps next week I will slip and actually shit my pants again, brother. We have to wait and see, folks. Folks, ha! This face, ha! Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. There we go. So this one, and then there's two that he made. All right, guys. I got a great blessing uh, testimony video. Oh, my to, God. To okay. Here. And this is, wow, it's a long time since I did a testimony video. That's for sure. But uh, this is this is the type of things that happen when you're living on a prayer, like literally, because that's what we're doing. And and <laughs> He's you guys, Joby. <laughs> some of you guys are, are you're wonderful. You 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 stepped up again, and you you made something happen. So thank you for thank you. I just like I'm not <laughs> used to taking money. I want you, you guys to understand that because I was always the guy giving money <laughs> One because star, I have it. Tell. So. Uh, I really appreciate every penny because... Uh, oh, oh, man. I hate this. I hate when this mofo makes these videos. When he when, when he makes his videos, oh, thank you. Thank you, folks. Ha, thank you. I appreciate you guys making video, uh, getting me getting money. Ha, ha, ha. You know, it's like really a rub in, in our face, you know, salt in the wound. Um, being in a position where you feel like you're less than a man and you cannot provide for your wife is really not you mean the psychological girlfriend. place I want to be in. But, uh, like, sometime I should just do an, uh, like a mental health stream and, um, and really talk to you about what's going on in here. Because I was just hanging on with my fingernails to Sam. I don't know, Dan. We yeah. had that place to be in. You know what I mean? But now it's, like, almost... Well, you know, I, I did hear, though, I did hear that people want to keep this going they're not going they rev and shandy both know that people want to keep this craziness going because it you know just it brings in the view brings in it brings in the count people are interested you know we want to see how bad it was so they're gonna keep on giving them money until i don't know until rev like i don't know does something to shandy or she said does something to him i just hope they live stream it <laughs> off the cliff because it's so when i think about like what i have to do or what i should do it's it's the mania gets so bad <laughs> in my mind that i can't even think clearly and it paralyzes me into a nearly catatonic state right? that's where i get at the end of this mania where i can't it my body like my mind can't take it anymore it, it develops into a catatonic state so and this i've been dealing with this since i known about it which is 19. i was diagnosed with um schizoaffective disorder and I've got more than that. I'm pretty sure I'm bipolar. By, by my mood, my mood swings are insane. So there's a lot I'm dealing with up here. And the pressure of me being the only one that can do anything, get food in here or anything, is, it's cracking my mind in half. It's splitting my brain in half. Because it's like, I want to do these things, but my mind won't shut up and won't stop. And it puts me in a nearly catatonic state. That's Isn't it weird that he, last thing on his mind would be to get a job? I don't know. To me, that is just crazy that he, he doesn't think, hey, maybe I should work. Maybe um, 
you know, if I could just even work at the gas station, I mean, seriously, Rev, you can work at the hotel, you can work at the gas station, you can work at the two other gas stations across the street, you can work at the subway, or you can push carts at the Walmart. I mean, really, I, I don't know what what your deal is. You don't even try. You just, oh, they're not going to hire me. Well, you wouldn't know unless you try, dude. That's the best way I can describe it to anybody that happens to me. And then I start rocking, and, and I, I have the, the, the pump and leg because it's anxiety. At the end of the day, this is anxiety, which is why I yeah, need right. to be in therapy, yeah. and I want to be in long-term therapy and hopefully become a normal, productive member of society. But anyway, here's the testimony. <laughs> it was great. And thank you for the money that came in again because everything you give is used on, on something. So thank you very much. Um, but our neighbor here, um, he's a great, a great person. And... Um, Shani, for the past, I don't know, since she's been hungry for a while, Meth she's neck. been literally praying Here for it goes. some spaghetti. And what, you know, like what? spaghetti, spaghetti, and it's like, it's it's something to pray for, and it's something that she really enjoys. So the guy next to us is just a blessing. He's a Christian, too, and, and a real one, because on his wall, he's got trust in the Lord, big letters, trust in the Lord. That, that's a real Christian. That's definitely a real Christian. And you can see it in the eyes. It's just there. So yeah, like I could see it in your crazy ass eyes. <laughs> he knocks on her door because I was going around trying to figure out something uh, food wise because we had to do something for food. And because th the donations came in a little bit later. God, the so, lies. Uh, I was I was asking him about make it, like, do you have any extra food or something? Oh, your but, new uh, friend's phone. Yeah. <laughs> at the door, and he's like, yeah, I'm going to make you some pasta. And he said, this is the Lord. So, like, this is totally from him. He told me to do <laughs> He told me to do this. That's a quote. He told me to do this. Now, I believe that, and a Christian's going to hear that and go, wow, Shani was praying for like... Ramblings, yeah. Maybe four or five days for spaghetti, specifically, and it shows up a beautiful plate that you loved. And we loved it. It was delicious. It was like from a... a yeah, it shows the spaghetti. Show the plate. Show the fork. Italian restaurant he can cook, man, <laughs> is meat sauce. That's a testimony, because that, that stuff doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. Oh, it's common, it's spaghetti. Not really. Not in the living situation that we're in. I don't know how he made it so perfectly. Like, he <laughs> might have a hot plate or something. I don't know. But this is a testimony, and um, God's good. He Meanwhile, these two had a hot plate. They have they have an air fryer currently, and they can't figure out how to boil water, make rice, make ramen the right way. I mean, seriously, there comes a point where if they can't even do this, I can't believe they, they can even put clothes on. He gets you through the next day. Uh, without you seeing Neighbor's it, not an it idiot. happens, and, 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 and right? just people bless. And you know what? That's what I always have to keep in mind. In in for me, and it's a personal battle to not embrace the anger and the rage <laughs> that there are good people, and the country's being oh, yeah, slaughtered right now because there are good people. Because otherwise, God had let it all go down and nuke it. That's the truth. What a testimony! Thank Jesus. Praise God. Love you guys. Bye. Okay, where's this money? And then he just made this one. Hey guys, I'm back again. So I want this. I want to give you like an update because like you responded to the video, um, and I appreciate you greatly for it. I'm telling you, we don't. This hotel is so weird, man, that they don't have a functioning phone line, and that's oh, really thank strange you. to me. Wow, what is that uh, noise? It must get rough. What is that noise? What is going on? They someone is she burning something? Uh, no, nobody's blocked. Everybody can see everybody but i i understand why some people would think that because on some of these channels weirdos have been playing the blocking game i don't understand that game i don't play that game i only time people out if they're doxing bothering other people you know going against the terms of service violations that's it you know otherwise even if i have an issue with someone in the past if they could be cool with everybody i, I don't care who's in here it's not that deep <laughs> But yeah, we can see. About it, because I hear that noise on, on Google for it, but I don't think that that's the number that you you call that to, to get the manager. So it's really weird, and and I, it's like being on the edge of some weird star system. That sounds awful. And, and and it's I don't know why I think I think of like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy or something. It, but there are good people out here. What? What? Oh my book. Amazon.com. <laughs> Yo, if someone really wants that book, uh, email, send me an email, and I'll just send you a uh, online copy for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> it's two dollars. Not selling books, okay? It's awful, though. I don't know why. No, <laughs> Oh, my book is here. As I said, Hitchhikers, and that there's that. No, it's not as good as that, honey. I'm sure. But anyway, anyway. Yeah, the book is awful. It's like a thousand pages of just filler and drivel. Like, and this guy, and he was his dad. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. And uh, his dad was like, I think I need to go to the moon because there's something going up there and some conspiracy. <laughs> it's like I said, if anyone wants a copy, I can send it to you. I wanted to give you an update because I reached out. To the oh yeah, right. And, and you guys... Right, uh, Shaz, you make up a good a good point. They, they're trying to say there's no phone. There is a phone. Now they might have to pay an extra charge, but 911 can work on any phone, even if the phone's disconnected. And I don't even think a hotel phone would charge you for that. So yeah, in an emergency, they'd be good. Oh, that's the microwave. Oh, okay, okay. It just sounds really weird. It's probably one of them cheap ass ones that gives you brain cancer. Have you responded? And uh, an officer did show up here. And it we know it's not the shower. <laughs> I got a number that's very useful for me to call for adult protective services. A direct line number. So that I'm going to be able to talk it should be, to though. somebody that's going to start us on the road to <laughs> not being in a state of chaos. And what the hell do we do? So I know. First you laugh. Then you're like, ooh. You <laughs> uh, and if it's multiple it's people, valid. thank you all for, for having the, the cop <laughs> because I really have come to a point in my life where I realize that my mental health is so on a yeah that Mike way is crying that Mike way is like look I never talk but if it fucking stinks in here <laughs> something fierce <laughs> on a totally un it's yeah. chaos <laughs> in my mind so we might even end up going to the hospital to sort out some of these things Oh my god, what things? What things? Not working? So we're going to the hospital. Oh my god, Rev, Rev, Rev. Why don't you, like, figure out what you want in life and do it, okay? That's as simple of an answer I can give you. Figure that out and achieve. try to achieve that goal. Hell, they're giving people money to go back to school. Maybe you guys can actually finish school and then go to a college. And then you'll figure out what you want in life. But, uh... Yeah, Artie, can you imagine that the state of that mattress? Oh, they're going to have to retire it. It's going to have some nasty, big-ass, fat-ass yellow stain all over it. Stanking. Oh, how are they going to have to... They're going to have to, like, seriously burn that mattress. To, 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 to get back on our feet because we've been starved for, like, two weeks. It was rough. So that's always a good thing to do. Like, when I, I had a few times in my life where I, I, I was taking care of other people and not myself, you know, people used to tell me all the time, beggars can't be choosers. And choosy moms choose Jeff. <laughs> and what I mean is, if if they have nothing, they have a pot to piss in, went up to throw it out, they shouldn't be, eh, I don't want that. I don't like that. No, you, you're begging. So you take. Because this is what's available. Uh, that part of choosing what you want to eat, that's gone. That's what happens when you don't have nothing, Rev. That your choose goes away. You lost that right. You want that right back? Get a job, and then you buy. You earn that right back. And it, it life one hundred and one in the hospital, having a schizophrenic break, and uh, <laughs> the award for like three or five days. Yeah, uh, Rev and Shady want adult. I don't. This is not a thing. You know as well as I do that. You know the booby hatches were. Uh, let out people were let out of them years ago <laughs> we don't even have crazy houses anymore so there is no adult services there's like medicare or i mean medicaid or whatever they have equivalent to like medicaid you know state medical where you guys are it's that's available there is no adult services but yeah what's up david i was um i was actually i watched your stream at 2 a.m this morning and I was because I like I woke up and I was like, oh, David's live. And I was talking to you, and um, I don't know if you could see me. I was like, what? I'm gonna have to kick David's ass later. <laughs> Mofo ain't see me. <laughs> nah, man. 
<laughs> but yeah, I was just like, I wonder if you can see me or not. In the case that it's mandatory, you're there. You're there like five days. You you can't do anything about it. But if if I check in willingly and say I want help, you can pretty much check out when you want. But honestly, a place like that right. for me right now would be comfort. I think. Um, be, because the, the, this real life, holy shit, what are you gonna do? And you have no options, no car, no money, no nothing. Oh my god, you have options. People have, have given you the options. You have two cars. So for being poor, I mean, really, you could sleep in your own car. And and so you have an option. You could sell that car. Thousand bucks. That doesn't run. You know, I'm sure a caddy, man, you can probably get two thousand right now. Maybe even 2,500. I mean, it depends on how many miles are on it. But even the older ones, if it's leather interior, V8, it's solid, and it just needs a, what, an alternator and a battery. 2,000, 2,500, easy, dude. As long as it's clean inside, it doesn't, doesn't smell like uh, smell like foot fungus and ass. I really feel dead bodies. Like that's a better situation for me, and I think it would be for Channing too. So thank you for the call out. It worked, and we got a number that I'm going to be calling soon. And we and yeah, I'm pretty sure we can also get a phone type app on the computer, <laughs> which yeah. would be really good if I could just talk to somebody at length. And explain the situation we're in here and then get the low. Yo, that's probably why they can't make ramen because <laughs> they probably put it on for like a thousand minutes and it probably runs and runs and runs. And they're like, oh my God, it's burnt. This is awful. This doesn't work. <laughs> Local involved. That's it. So thank you for calling very much. God bless everybody. Oh, God. Awful. Awful people. Awful, awful people. All right, let's let me let's uh start watching sh scammy. Then I maybe mean, I'll go back to that last video that Rev did before. Hey, she's so happy. It actually, is green. It's green, like like your like your hair and your skin and your smell. Yeah. <laughs> I want to excuse myself for not um, showering. I've been in. A lot of severe pain for days now yeah yeah all that stuff you do my god i don't even know how you do it Jenny. you're helping people all day walking old people across the street and then you have time to just come to us peasants and and update us on your life i just i don't know you're such a saint saint bernard <laughs> my, uh, arthritis has really oh wow really really gotten really bad and and and, and, and here's the problem with it it's like i i have these drugs you know Oh, drugs. Oh, she's getting to the good stuff. Um, she looks rough. Oh, she they just abandoned the Durango. Well, you know what? That's there that's a good amount of money they could have gotten there. And I know that car is really messed up only by them. I mean, that thing should have lasted a long time. But uh, thanks for telling me that. I'm I'm on um This is yeah, her four teeth. <laughs> I'm on. This is it. This is this is the meloxicam that I am on. And yes, he did get medicine when he said he needed money to get medicine. He actually did. Medicine. Here, a little ASMR for you, moron. <clears throat> That's called pills. And, and 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 just to prove it to you that it's meloxicam, I'll yeah. just show the pill on camera. You see that? You see that? No, All I the don't. Out there will know that is meloxicam. That looks like an ecstasy pill. <laughs> or or the Cymbalta pill. Let's, let's go look at that since you're all paranoid that I'm doing this Delta 8, which is 100% legal. Then what's your problem? Who cares? You, 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 your, your, um, your argument doesn't make any sense. Why are you so triggered over the something that's legal? Which, here's a fucking fact that you guys didn't know. I haven't bought any Delta 8 in over three months. I've been pretty much sober the whole time. Yeah, right. <laughs> no way, you liar. You liar. I've been sober the whole time. Yeah, G-Man gave you... Okay, is that why you're saying you didn't buy it? Because G-Man gave it to you guys? You know, Shani, why do you lie? Why do you lie so much? If you're not on stuff on those previous streams, then you, you need to get help, man. Because you're like passing out half those streams that you are definitely on something don't say you're not on nothing three months what a liar 
but look at that. That that's, that's all free. Exactly. Right Shitty that's Balta pill. Okay. I take Simbalta for my fibromyalgia. It's not working. I take my meloxicam for my osteoarthritis. Guess what's happening? It's not fucking working. Ooh. <clears throat> and I am in a load of shit fucking pain. My neck. <laughs> my neck. It's so it, it's it's like I can barely turn it. You see it? I can barely my turn it. My neck. My back. And I'm shaking. I, I have these like shakes lately. These these like tremors in my body. yeah yeah shakes lately yeah. <laughs> vanilla chocolate strawberry <laughs> it's crazy and delicious and it's it's really fucking bad and <laughs> yeah <laughs> and I, I I I I'm having a hard time speaking lately which is why I'm not on camera a lot of times but I might as well show you how I am oh, you know, stop I, it I, 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 it's not changing you know performance art folks it's just how the winter is it's how when it gets cold I. I get completely fucking miserable. And Winter is coming. Every fucking way possible, <laughs> and it's 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 awful. Like my hands, look how swollen they are. That's it's just fat. Swollen as shit. <laughs> Dude, that's just your obesity. They've been like that this whole time. They've been like that this whole time. <laughs> Show us your your bit your legs. And and there's there's like nothing I can do about it. Like nothing I can do about it. I I, I was tossing and turning last night trying to fucking sleep and no nah, that, that i couldn't i couldn't i was in so much fucking pain you know my lower back is just riddled with withdrawals fucking, like, <laughs> the arthritis is just getting out of fucking hand and i i really need help medical or like real medical help at this point like i'm so bad in my disability and i have no social workers coming here to help me i really need i i'm honest Shani, Shani, who who has social workers going to where they are? I mean, have you lived before? Have you life? Have you life in the United States? Because to normal people that aren't a thousand pounds obese, you have to go to the place. You drive your fat ass to the place. They don't come to you. I don't know what world you live in. I'm really getting sick of you being like, they don't come to me. Like, no one's supposed to. I don't know who you got to manipulate to do that, but normally people, cut, you have to go to them, straight up. I need to be a ward of the state. <laughs> um, well, I feel the same way about myself. I am an extreme vulnerable adult right now, and I haven't eaten yeah, right. a proper meal, and I don't, I don't know, I don't even remember when the last time I had a proper meal. Like, I, I think about pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, she's the only person who I know has like wet dreams about food, man. Like even a sandwich, even a fucking sandwich, it is like <laughs> Stop it. And we live in this world where no one cares. No one cares. No one will help us. Cause you, know you guys lie and your biggest supporter, G Man, admitted to everything and said when you guys do this, you're taking care of. You're just doing this to get your delta and whatever the hell you're doing. So when your biggest supporter says that, uh, we have to believe that. So yeah, you're not going to get help. You no, know, everyone's like, get a job, get a job. How do you get a job when your car's not working and you don't got a phone? Work from home. We've been out with a phone for a while now. Don't have a phone. I know we've been out with a phone for a while now. Like, I need help. I don't know how, okay? But I need someone to help me and guide me because I'm lost. I'm well, you know, maybe you should have thought about that, that when uh, if, when your parents were still alive, they were trying to guide you, right? Yeah, before you shit on them, before you wished death upon them. When you were in Colorado thinking you were a big, big shit because you had all this money and everything, you didn't need nobody. But you, you lost $200,000 of Rev's money in the stock market. That's crazy, Shani. 200 grand, you could have bought a house for that. You would have been fine. Maybe you should think before you react or think before you spend money. I'm lost and I don't know what to do anymore. I really don't know what to do anymore. Ew. <laughs> My life has been torn apart. Just torn apart from the seams and... And I try to make money for my family. I try so hard to do everything I can with the strength I have. But it ever works. It ever works. It ever works. You know, a lot of people, they have family that can help them and, and friends to help them. I don't have any of that. 
I don't have that. You know, you, you saw what happened with my last friend. They ended up to be a fucking fake like every other fucking friend. Well, you say fake, and what do you mean by fake? I mean, you want people just to co-sign, right? For you all the time. You, you just want people to look the look uh, look a blind eye to your, your bullcrap. Well, it's not going to work for everybody. Either people realize what's going on, or they're just like, oh, I don't want to be part of that. You know, it, it's it seems like it's really hard to be your friend, Shani, because when if you're everything's not going your way, then you just get mean and racist at people. I'm so sick of fucking fake people, and I'm so sick of these fake people's paranoid delusions and trying to put it on me and calling authorities all the time. Yeah, exactly. Like, why do I have to see a cop all the fucking time when I'm not doing anything? When I'm a law-abiding citizen? <laughs> yeah, right. Law-abiding. Because of your fucking paranoid delusions. You make things up in your head and you present them as true. Speculation is not truth. It's just speculation. Okay. And you guys are so fucking paranoid and delusional that you can't fucking see that you're actually affecting people's lives. This from somebody who's living in a hotel. <laughs> because they couldn't afford where they were living and they were turning it into a pigsty. But we, we made that up. Because you think it's all a fucking show. You think it's all a fucking show. And it's disgusting because it's not a fucking show. It's real life. Right. It's real life. And my son, they have to see CPS all the time because you keep calling CPS when he's not even in my fucking care. Well, exactly. And a ward of the state is not supposed to be going online talking about stuff that's still in active, you know, court. That stuff that, that that's happening with your kids, Shani, is it, it's still active. This is supposed to be a... A learning period for you to get a job work on yourself and you haven't done nothing you are awful you are absolutely awful and then not only did you not get a job but then you double down and, and make your son go on to the internet which he doesn't want to do and have to be like no oh, my mom did the best she can i mean and he, yeah probably because he still cares about you but it's awful everyone saw right through it it's disgusting you don't care about them. You don't care that they were taken away. They were taken away for a reason. You can blame other people all you want, but it was your son, the one who did that, who called, right? So just think about that. He called the police, not, not the trolls. I want to make sure that she never sees her kids ever fucking again, you evil fox. <laughs> Look who's talking. You evil fox. That is the most evilest thing you could do to someone. A mother and a child. You're and it's obvious mother. my son loves me. It's obvious my sons love me. You know why they love me? is because I don't harm them. I did the best I could with the abilities I had. Oh, and I get you. fucking shitted on for it. Shitted on. Ew. You try being like me. You try being in my shoes one goddamn day and see how you fucking feel. No. Ew. I would have like the worst rash ever. You kidding me? And you're being in your little ass shoes. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, why are my legs so itching so bad? Oh, what are these what are these warts going on? And what are all these bugs coming out of my legs for? See how it feels to be constantly in severe pain. And then have people with their little paranoid delusions pull all this fucking shit on you like it's fucking true and it's not. And then it forces your son to speak out. And when he speaks out, what do you do? And he tells the truth? You fucking gaslight him! You gaslight him saying he's being manipulated, saying he's lying? Okay? My story never changed. No, he's being manipulated. Not I wouldn't say lying. He's being manipulated because he wants to help you, Shani, because he feels sorry for you. Changed. Jason's story's never changed. William's story's never changed. But there is one story that did change, and that's G-Man's, and you believe him! You're bad fucking judges! Bad fucking judges! Don't you know what a liar is? It's when their story changes, not when their story is the same. Morons. Morons. Up and leave people alone who are online and stop putting your paranoid delusions on them like you know something in their life because you don't. All you do is see little snippets of other people's lives. That's what you do. You see other snippets of other people's lives and you think you can judge upon it in such a sinister fucking way and call authorities on people all the time. 
All right, um, I want to just pause that right for this second and just show this video from a few years ago. Uh, check out this channel, uh, Fat Courtney Love. She uh, used to uh, archive some of Shani's uh, older videos. And this is the person that's saying that everyone's lying and everything. She doesn't understand what's wrong with people and we're all making it up. Yeah, uh, let me just show this. This ain't long. It's only three minutes. Turns out, false alarm, he wasn't looking at the porno. His pants fell down, and his brother saw his ass crack. And his brother's always Great trying mother. to get him in trouble, so he narked at him and said that he mooned his brother. Okay, what about this, And Shane? I don't get why kids are always arguing with each other all the time. I don't get it. I don't get it. Talking about and your son for no reason. It. Do this. I'm tired of being shown on the internet. Oh man. Oh, what is that? Oh, what is happening to that tooth? Whoa. I guess that's one that like said I'm leaving. I'm packing my packing my shape, taking my kids and getting out of here. Smiling that she's hurting her kids' feelings. And I don't understand why the kids are crazy right now. Does her mouth? You would think so, Charlie, right? Oh, hey, Brett. Anyway. Motherhood is fantastic. My sons are turning into men and becoming big bullhards. Yeah. That's so great. that's great. <laughs> <laughs> the tooth was out of here. When the hormones kick in, like William, he's... So, you know, you guys get it. I don't want to show too much of that. So, yeah, that's the mother of the year over there. Acting like she doesn't understand why people have a gripe with her for so long. Well, maybe because she made videos like that all the time. And they are as heartbreaking as they are today. She just doesn't get it. She doesn't see anything wrong with that. It needs to end. This shit needs to end. The cops, the CPS, everyone we talk to, they're like, why are these people doing this to you? And my answer is always like, I don't know. Then you're retarded. The cop that came over. You are, Shani. You are. You're stupid. There's something mentally wrong with you. If you can make all those videos and show your kids personal lives and discuss it in detail, and people have to be like, yo, you shouldn't be uploading this, then there's something wrong with you. You should not, you know, in a perfect world, you or Red wouldn't be near a computer screen or internet. This way you can protect people that don't want to be online over here the other day because you had this paranoid delusions our kids our cats were starving i wouldn't be surprised because i said i was going to use some money and buy it for cat food so because i said i'm gonna buy cat food that means my cats are starving are you fucking dumb well if if the other animals were starving and the kids were starving it only makes sense that the cats would be hungry you make shit out of nothing out of nothing and you twist everyone's lives to be sinister and evil and i see you even doing that to foodie beauty and it really fucking annoys me but right, here she goes it really fucking annoys me do i agree everything she says no do i think she's a phony in a lot of ways yes but to make things up about people and, and, and try to <laughs> convince people awesome. what you made up in your fucking head is true is disgusting period period you don't love people you don't give people the, the better ben benefit of, of doubt Instead, you, you you just... Or she ate it. <laughs> barrage people with all these fucking stupid accusations because you want to make sure that someone's yeah. evil. Because other people told you they're evil. So that means they have to be evil, right? That means they have to be evil. Because they told you they were evil. Because they have a lot of people who subscribe to them. So that means they have to be truth tellers. People who don't even know me. People who never met me in my entire fucking life. But you believe people who don't even know me, who's not even in my fucking life, who... Well, yeah, I don't have I don't have a big enough gas mask for that. Who, who, who don't even fucking know me or my family. <laughs> Wake the fuck up, people, and realize what you're doing to other people online. Because it's not only me that you're doing this to. You're doing this to a lot of fucking people. And eventually the cops are going to catch on. Eventually the authorities are going to catch on. And all of you motherfuckers are going to go to prison because of it. Yeah. 
What's the charge? Oh, uh, you taught against the child abuser online. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that there was that child abuse law. Yeah, we're gonna throw the book at you. The stalking and harassment and lying Crazy and eyes. slandering. It needs to end. Right. Make your own content. Stop talking about other people and, 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 and making shit up about other people and making people believe all this horrible stuff about people that isn't even fucking true. You go on Twitter right now, there is a bunch of videos, a bunch of videos, a bunch of memes of having Pete fucking tied up like he's some kind of hostage. <laughs> it's a meme. And, and make it seem that Foodie Beauty is like Kathy Bates in Misery. That is so <laughs> disgusting. Chantel may be a lot, but she loves Pete's and she would never do something like that with Pete's. So why <laughs> even say that? You think that's funny to tie someone up? I don't know. You tell us. <laughs> Shady, come on. You do to Rev exactly what, she, what Foodie Beauty does to Pete. She, you guys use people. You use people. You think that's funny? Oh, look at this is Chantel tying Pete's up. You think that's funny? That's not funny. Kidnapping is funny. <laughs> and then you call my, my videos with my husband hostage videos? Hostage videos. <laughs> hostage videos. My husband is free to do whatever the fuck he wants. I don't control him. I know watermelon. You tell them. Yeah, Shady. He's already said that you make him make videos. So stop it. Stop it. Stop trying to dial it back. Here she go. Yeah, with the deflection. Right. You exactly. tell them, watermelon. You look so pretty. But to come to me, and and put all these fucking paranoid delusions on me like they're true, and then expect me to react to them. Fuck you. I'm not gonna react to them. My son. Felt the need yesterday, and I can't control him. I don't have him, okay? Oh, he stop. He felt the need to speak his mind. Okay, but you didn't have to put that online. He could have spoke his mind, and you didn't need to have it online. You could have just recorded it and just kept it. Maybe as a, a memory. You didn't have to. It was your choice and Rev's choice. And not only put it online, but then tweet about it. My God, you are awful. So you do want people to see these videos because you're putting it on Rev's video on channel and you're putting it on your on your Twitch and you're tweeting about it. You want people to react. He she really is. wanted to speak his mind. Because you guys yeah, affect his life by yeah, constantly yeah, calling yeah, CPS yeah. on nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. His parents ended up losing all their money during 2020, which a lot of people did in 2020. They lost every single bit. That's because you made some bad investments and Rev's family member broker uh told you what to invest in and you thought that you thought um you knew better than him and you made bad investment deals nobody else's fault man that's uh, that's on you shani you should have let rev and the brokers deal with it of savings and any stocks they had in 2020 a lot of people it's not because we were irresponsible with our money it's because the world fell apart Oh my god. But you turn it into us being irresponsible. Shady, if someone lost a couple hundred bucks, a thousand, uh, all right, fine. I'll, I'll be generous. $5,000, maybe $10,000 on the stock market. Fine. You lost 200000 You are irresponsible. And I kept trying to make videos on YouTube, making money this way, selling stuff. And the whole time, you kept putting a kink in the wrench. You kept stopping me from making fucking money for my family. And then you go ahead and say, I'm the one being neglectful. I'm the one. But I was trying to make money for my family. And you guys stopped me from making money for my family. And then you guys say, oh, that doesn't affect the boys. Yes, it fucking does. <laughs> All of you guys know exactly what you did. And that's why you're so angry right now. Because William spoke and the truth isn't how you fucking put it. The truth came out, and it wasn't how you wanted it. You wanted it to be some sinister fucking thing. You wanted my sons to fucking hate me. There's no reason for my sons to hate me, because I give them everything that I have. Everything I fucking have. And I have. There's been times where I have not eaten, and let them eat. <laughs> There's been times where I've been without, but they were with. Yeah, they I were with. I will sacrifice for my children. But when a mother can't move the way a mother should... When a mother is so fucking sick, she's always in bed. How do you expect her to take care of her children properly? And then I get, sh I get shamed for being sick. I get shamed for being fucking sick. <laughs> all of you have the wrong idea about me. First of all, you have the wrong idea about me. It's so wrong. And that's the truth. And William was trying to explain that to you. She's not what you say she is. And he should know. He should know. Oh my God, Shani. Why would G-Men then say this, huh? 
other people turn around and talk against you. It's not just like one person. It's been several people. And why would why would the state, after doing a proper investigation, still say we need to take the kids? You had two houses that were filled with cat shit and piss and filled with garbage. You guys are disgusting. Every place you go smells. It stinks. <laughs> you stink. You don't wash. You, you you don't you don't know how to exfoliate. You got warts on you for that's been on you for three years. Are you girl, please. William Brawley knows me better than anyone in this entire world. We were best friends. But that rash is still there. That rash is still there. Since the day he was born, he was always there by my side. My baby. I love him to death. And I love Zachary to death. I want them happy. I want them to be able to have a good life. And if I had to give them up for them to have a good life, I'm willing to do that. Oh, yeah. And yeah, that's why you gave them up. And I get shamed for that, too. Like, is there any Ew. beautiful person out there, any Christian out there, anyone that will help me? That will help me get back on my feet? Dude, that is, that's never gonna happen. You're asking the impossible. <laughs> Hope you get on your feet. Yo, man, you're, you're gonna need, like, I don't know, <laughs> to lift you up. Good luck with that. <laughs> and I know I'm not the only one who's going through this. There's a lot of people who's going through this, who's lost everything because of 2020. You know, I remember it. I remember it. The stock, man. Oh, look at it. Oh. it we lost $300,000 in one Oh, stop, stop. Each. Oh, now it's three? Whoa, what? What the fuck? What? Oh. Remember it. I remember it. The stock, Ew. man. Oh, those things. Those... It's plummeted and we lost $300,000 in one fucking day. <gasps> and then it kept plummeted. Now it's $300,000. Holy crap. Yeah, you're irresponsible. And you just got all those bugs that were in your scalp all over the place. Thanks, Shani. Thank you. They, it, <laughs> I, I'm, I feel bad for the next people that have to rent out that room. Three hundred grand. And I get blamed for that. I, the, the, the paranoid delusion is, is oh, look at this. She spent all the money. No, I did not. That's what Rev said. But you don't put in circumstances of the world in this scenario. You have to make it seem like I'm fucking evil. I feel itchy now, right? Me too, Kira. You don't look at it as a righteous type of judgment. You don't look at it as putting everything into place. No, you have to turn someone into evil. For having a hard fucking time. For going through a hard fucking time in life, and, and, and you make people evil for it. <laughs> Are you actually honest with yourself to admit it? Are you actually honest with yourself to admit it? Are you actually honest with yourself to admit that you ruin people's lives on purpose? Just so you can laugh. Oh, well, it's funny. <laughs> I bet none of you are honest enough and have enough fucking guts to fucking admit it. Because you're cowards in the long run. You're fucking cowards. You all team up with a bunch of fucking people against one person. Uh, solo act here. I mean, except for Renee. So, I mean, you know. But thanks for judging everybody by, you know, by the book. That's not fair fighting. A bunch of people against one person. Thousands of people against one person. Well, what would you expect when you're, like, putting, uh, uploading child abuse on, on YouTube? What did you expect people to be like? Oh my god, this this is so great! Oh my god, oh my god, we're riveting content. Because you people who have problems with me can't handle the problems yourselves. You need other people to get involved because you're fucking cowards. What? What? Screw you! Screw you, bitch! Who's the one who paid somebody a thousand bucks to go after people? Huh? Who was it? it? Wasn't me. I don't got time for that. This ain't that deep. Who was it, Shani? Get the hell out of here. Me, I'm one person. I handle my problems by my fucking self. I don't let other people get involved with my goddamn problems. William was heartbroken when he heard what G-Man did. Heartbroken. Because he thought G-Man was his fucking friend. Heartbroken. That's why he spoke. Oh, my God. And you're God. like, well, why are you getting him involved in internet shit? Because he knows G-Man personally. Man. Are you fucking dumb? <laughs> 
Oh, oh my God. God. You, should, you should not let him get him involved. He's living, trying to live a life now. Get some normalcy in his life. But no, every time, uh, the, the short little time that you get to spend talking to him on Skype because you're too much of a nasty person, you can't just take a drug test and see him and give him an actual hug. Well, that's a good thing for him. <laughs> but uh, you, you can't even do that. So the short little bit of time that you get, you tell him to go online or, or you'll record it and have him uh, talk... Um, you know, to get you sympathy. Get out of here, Shani. That's all you care about. All you care about is how it looks. And it, it looks bad. I'm supposed to hide shit from my children? I'm supposed to lie to my children? What kind of fucking parents are you lying and hiding shit from your kids? It's not their business. What kind of fucking parents are you? Your par your kids are going to grow up distrusting you because you're liars. Because you don't tell them the truth. And I never, I'm the type of mom that do not hide reality from her children. I don't. I will never hide reality from my children. Ew, so you're telling me you told your youngest son that you were doing OnlyFans with Rev? You told I mean, that's reality, right? I mean, really? Are you telling me that? You're telling me that you told your youngest son that you were doing pornography, and then you blamed it on other people. Well, then it's you. You told him. And that's why he ran home upset, because all his little friends saw it. Because I believe that if a child is confronted with reality at a younger age, at an older age, they'll be able to to be able to process it a lot better instead oh, of hiding awful. it from a child. And, and then letting them live in this delusional world thinking everything is wonderful. No, it's not. And you should teach your children that it's not wonderful. And See, I knew it. Didn't I say this? Didn't I say that she was making the kids think that the moon is like a hologram of green cheese and everything? And, uh... The, the dragoons and shit ninjas were going to attack them. Didn't I say that? It's because I knew that. She had them in constant paranoia and fear. Okay, Shane, there's a difference. There's a difference between... Oh, thanks, Nikki. That almost scared me. I was like, what is that? <laughs> I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. But, uh, yeah, that's it's, it's awful. I can just get so lost in her stupid words. They really just piss me off. And people are going to kick your ass and treat you like shit. You should treat, teach your children that. So they, when they grow up, can handle it better. But no, no, you want everything hidden from your children. No, I got to protect my child in this bubble because I can't expose them to this stuff. While you're doing evil, you're teaching your children how to bully people. You're teaching your children how to treat people like shit, how to, how to manipulate people. And I saw you try to manipulate my son about how he's feeling about his mom trying to make him think that he got fucking abused when he knows he wasn't. I don't hit my kids. Okay. Um, then why did G-Man say that Rev told him you body slammed him, huh? After you, you know, you hit a Rev with a fetish whip. You know, why, why would G-Man say that? And you body slammed one of your kids. Oh, that's not hitting. That's hitting with your fat. So uh, that doesn't count. You don't hit them with your hands. Okay, folks. One thing, if anyone new here about Shani, you have to understand. She's very meticulous with her words. If people say, well, you said you didn't hit. She'll say, well, I meant not with my hands. But with like, you know, my stomach or my feet. You know, totally fine. Or I make Rev do it. Look, and when that? my kids have a problem, guess what they do? They come to me, they talk to me, and we talk it out. Why do you think he's such a wonderful speaker? Because we talk it out. And we always have. That's how my family works. We have a problem, we talk about it. I don't hide reality from my kids, though. And I never will. And if he asks about what's going on with G-Man, I'm going to tell him. Because he knew G-Man in real life. Okay, Am I going to lie to him? Thanks. <laughs> I, I remember when my parents used to lie about me everything and how it made me feel. I saw through the bullshit. So, yeah, I grew up not trusting my parents because they didn't tell me the truth about anything. Always lying and hiding. And my son's trying to be as honest as possible, and you guys gaslight him and say he's lying. Oh, it's Shannon that's in the comments. No. I can't write like that. Uh, like a person? Like a human being? <laughs> I'm sorry. Then, then, then Shannon, why was it uh, me yesterday? That's just a little convenient. So you're telling me, like how Rev just said, oh, a teenage boy, and they're online all the time. Well, apparently not if he had to make the account yesterday. Tell us another one. And thank you, Renee, for actually finding that out. Uh, if, if people didn't know here, uh, Renee is the, uh, the Crips uh, resident detective here. <laughs> and she does a good job. Okay, I'm not a writer like he is. 
Like, he, he he writes better than me. I know it. I know it. He writes better than me. He talks better than me. He's smarter than me. I know this about my son, and I'm very proud of him for being a lot better than I am. Because he's going to be successful in this world, and I'm, I'm very proud of him. I'm very proud of my son. And I'm proud of Zachary, too. He's a great son. He's a great son. And you guys saying that William can't be on YouTube? Dude, 13-year-olds legally can be on YouTube. So, so you're going to my teenager saying he can't be part of YouTube when he legally can? Fuck you. It's like you saying I can't be part of the internet. It's not. That, that is not what people are saying. They're saying that he shouldn't be talking about matters that are still open. Open court cases, Shani. Hello. Have you ever heard that expression? If, if there's an active and open case, that goes against you. He's talking about things that haven't been settled yet. It's a bad look. But yeah, keep going. Go on, sis. Go on. Why can't I make my money the way how I want to make my money? Why do you have to try to force your way in and say, no, you can't make money that way? You can't make Fuck money you. that way. I can make money however I want to make money. I'm making money right now. <laughs> do you get that? Yeah, not from this view. <laughs> and if I want to make money, I'm going to make money. If I want to make money on the internet, I can do that. Because it's one of the only means I have. Because I'm stuck where I'm at. I'm stuck, and I need fucking help. Yeah, well, you know what? Uh, <laughs> call up somebody, you know, the, the gas station, and bring over a bunch of oil and grease, and maybe they can get you off that bed. <laughs> I need some kind of fucking adult intervention to come in my life and help me put my life back together. That, that doesn't work. Because I can't do it on my own. I've tried. I tried. Yeah, Kira, I think she would definitely... She would definitely play that card. She would definitely play that card. Oh, I took care of you guys for oh, my whole life. It's time to take care of your big mom. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and your dad too. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, the water bottle. There it is. Hold on. There we go. I tried. Oh, you did. Hold on. Let me just back that up a little bit. Help me put my life back to. I've tried. Yeah. Ugh. Get a tissue. I tried. Get several toys, uh, paper. <laughs> but yeah, the thing about the water bottles, because uh, the, the, the place said that they give out water bottles after she said there's E. coli in the water. Oh my god. And like. Hey, Shani, do you know what you do? Do you know that what you, your lies can affect the uh, hotel you're staying at? So I could turn this around. Just the, I could do the same thing you're doing to us. Say, oh, well, you guys don't realize what you're doing. Do you realize what you're doing? You're putting a business in jeopardy. A crappy business, sure. I mean, you, you're in there, but still, a business. Something more than what you have. Oh, yeah. Ugh. So, yeah, there's that water bottle. I wonder where you got that. It's working for us, no matter how hard we try. It doesn't work. Good. I just wish people would just start caring about each other again. <laughs> I just wish people would start caring about other people again. Instead of this paranoid fucking delusion thing that, that has infiltrated mankind. This, this looking at other people as they're no good and, and trying to find the bad in them. If you look at, if you're looking for the bad in someone, of course you're gonna find it. What? Oh my god! Shut up with that new age bull crap. Okay, stop it, Shani. You you put video streams, hours and hours of you just ignoring your kids. They're like hungry, knocking on your door, and you're like filming in progress. And they're like, we're hungry. We. <laughs> There's videos and there's archives of these videos. Many, many. Not just like one or two. You had a bad night. Several. And then your mom comes on stream, makes a stream and says that they were peeing all over the floor. And, and on the bed and everything. And then the Colorado house. And then this house that G-Man had to clean up. I mean, do you see the pattern or no? You're just going to just keep on ignoring all that stuff. That, that didn't happen, right? 
Why not try to switch your position and then look at the positive in someone? What positive? Listen to the words they're saying instead of trying to cherry pick what they say so you can try to make them look evil. And that's all you people done. It's no, no, I, I, uh, I reject that. I have my own opinions here, folks. I don't ever want anyone here who's watching right now to ever say, oh, well, he said that, so I'm going to believe it. I think the 88, 89 here that are watching and thanks that for that, like, <laughs> can make up their own mind when it's, become, when, when it's about this woman and her little uh, imp boyfriend. It's cherry pick what I say. You don't get any real meaning to what I say. You, 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 you blast me when I'm reacting to people being rude to me. And acting like I'm the one who's the villain when I'm just reacting to people fucking picking on me, thousands of people. <laughs> That's funny that Rev's not even in there when you're doing this bull crap. He, he didn't, Rev is even sick of hearing it because they everyone knows it's fake. Mew, what is that? It was an ass crack. <laughs> oh, what is that? <gasps> Ooh, yo, know, Shani, come on. Your whatever the your arm boob is showing. <laughs> but you're totally fine, right? It's just it's just you know, bad luck. Uh, 2020, it was a bad time for all of us. Yeah, well, I don't got that whatever that is under my arm. I don't even know what the hell that is. You got like two arms on one arm. You're like Goro. I'm done. I'm so done with this world, and I don't know how much longer I have left, because I'm fucking starving. <laughs> You're starving? Yeah, that arm begs to differ. And I have blood clots going on, and I just, just, just <laughs> so much fucking things. <laughs> but when I put my head at night, I think maybe this is going to be the night where I die in my sleep. And I get to see my parents again. <laughs> The parents that you wanted, you wish death on. I'm sure they're gonna be there with open arms. I am sure. You're a psycho. Yeah, the comfort, the comfort for me, for me dying is my sons are in a good, happy, safe place. That is my comfort. That is my comfort. <laughs> yeah, right. <six> drops. <laughs> Laugh all you want at someone's misery. That shows your heart. Doesn't show mine. I'm broken. I'm frustrated. I'm lost. And I'm at my last wit in life. I <laughs> need fucking wit. help. I need fucking help. I know. Look, Did he's coming that? in again. <laughs> yeah, why is every time Rev opened the door, she like she looks like it's like the cops walking in. I need fucking help. I need fucking help. <laughs> what are you doing? Close the door. They're gonna see it through my eye reflections. <laughs> Do you get that? I need fucking help. Someone yeah. help me get my life back together. Help yourself. I can't do it anymore. Are you done? Are you done? My God. <sighs> She's awful. <laughs> She's awful. She's an awful, awful mess. I, I mean, it's funny. It, it would be funny if it wasn't so pathetic, you know? And I mean, that's that's awful. I feel bad for the kids, you know? Definitely. The kids should not have to go through this. They've been through way too much. They don't even know that they're being abused. But I'm glad that you don't make your younger son, like, go on... Um, Go on Skype calls and say how much Rev is a good dad. Yeah, give me a break. Give me a break. If this meth head's a good dad, then you know what? I'm going to play in traffic right now. <laughs> All right, folks. How you doing? It's Rev. So, Allegedly. G-Man has now gone, gone into full scumbag reaction channel mode with us. And this this really is... If you, I know you're going to hear this, G-Man. <laughs> All those times that I called you a friend, all of those times that we connected as brothers in Christ were obviously total bullshit. <laughs> I don't open myself to anybody, dude. And what you did to me and Shani is absolutely fucking disgusting. You're no, you're, you, you can't be Christian the way you, if this is the way that you treat your brothers and sisters. So the latest thing that G-Man is saying about us is that we refused 
to feed the boys. What I want you to know yeah. is that every time that that EBT card uh, thing came in, my mind was on, I have to feed the children first. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, Rev. I remember when you were making a stupid mukbang video in the kitchen in the Colorado condo. And one of them walked out. They were going to the bathroom. And you were just jumping and moving and flapping your arms around like a weirdo just to make sure he wasn't on camera. Uh, that's how much you cared about making sure that they were fed. Get out of here. They always had food in that house to eat because I was going to get it for them first. Them first, always. True. Okay? This is a fact, and this Ooh. is this is how it was. Oh. Charlie says, your live streams are seven hours, and you don't let the kids in and have all the food. You're not feeding them enough. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you for somebody else saying it. <laughs> Because, yeah, uh, you know, my, my stream, an hour, I do from anywhere from an hour, hour and a half, two hours, and that's it. Maybe three. I, you know, it, it does take a lot out of me to do this. You know, I'm putting my soul and my energy into all these videos. I really do. So when I'm done, I feel like, you know, like the wind is knocked out of me a little bit. But I really give all my energy and my all into them. And I could not do seven hours. And then not worry about feeding everybody. I made sure everyone was fed before I went on tonight. Because that's what a person does. And I have Renee to vouch for me. We were starving <laughs> to death. And, and you were seeing how thin and gaunt I was getting, right? Yeah. That's yeah. what was going on in the house. Because we wanted the boys to eat first. And then whatever was left from the EBT card we'd get... <laughs> I get my Thanks. peanut butter. I've been li living on peanut butter in a jar for the last <clears throat> six months. That's it, guys. I go to a peanut butter jar. I take a little. I get a little filled, and that's it. Every once in a while, when we're blessed with the EBT, I'll have some chips or cookies or something, but it's not frequent, okay? This guy is a, a grifter, a scammer. G-Man is a grifter and scammer. Brett, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> That's what people should know. I thought she didn't at all. <laughs> I thought it was just red. <laughs> oh! Totally used me and Shani for a house when he was homeless. And now he's like that. It's absolutely repulsive and fucking disgusting. And he's going to be thrown out. Oh, okay. Uh, Chav Chavita. I hope I'm saying that right. Welcome. Thank you for subbing. We have a good time. Out of wherever here. he is, and he's going to be judged by God for this. I haven't said a word, and I wouldn't gonna, wasn't going to say another word about this guy, but he's still, he's now on us like the other reaction people are. It's disgusting. Oh, why is everyone got to be reactionary? Like, you know, why can't it just be a, against sickos? You know, I hate that. Oh, reaction channel. You know, it's just more bullcrap. So he can get away with not having to uh, do what he has to do. All right, let's. I'm looking, I'm looking. Okay. I think this is the last video. I haven't been able to see many of these. Wow, look at this. Dude's in the dark. <laughs> hostage video. This is Rev's second hostage video. Guys, God bless you. Uh, it's Rev here. Uh, um, first of all, I want to thank everybody that's helped us because all right, six stops. You're the reason we have our medicine. You're the reason that we've been <laughs> able to 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 get food in this place and oh, everything. Here. Everything. They, they they need to know that they're actual pill bottles. So oh. Don't show any. Oh, look at this. Well, I you really can't. Okay, they're actual. Okay, here's here's uh, Shani's pills. Can't see anything, but they're... is this like so when you guys are between Delta Eight that you can at least take something to just to get you going, get you off E, as some people say. Here's the pill bottles. There you go. 
it, it, I'm in the dark here. I'm mostly in the dark, but that's appropriate because that's I mean, it, you guys have been a blessing. That's all I could tell you. Oh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Brett, truthfully, he probably couldn't even get through the first couple of layers, <laughs> you know? <laughs> So I, I could see why she was just sitting there bored. You really have been, um, because you're the reason that we are, we've been able to just even get food. Because it's very tough here at, at the place we're at. They do I not take EBT cards, <laughs> it's so yeah. it's, it's difficult. So, and hey, also, I'll, I'll, here's a little update for you. The thing that happened with my Durango tire happened again. I was on, I was on 81, man. It was scary. And, uh... See, I'm pretty convinced now, guys, that what's going on is that it's an issue with a bent rim. I think I think from when that thing happened in St. Louis that you guys saw, because that was streamed, I think it... Oh, uh, yeah, right, Lamar? <laughs> what's up? Bent my right rear rim. Hey, Billy. So when I get a wheel on it, over time, it's messing up the tire on the inside. So it's like that needs a major repair, but yeah, we're out. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh, I gotta go now. All of a sudden, I start. I'm, I'm feeling a lot better. Out of that, it's 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 not where we're at. It's it's on the side of the road. I'm 81. So uh, huh. there's that little thing. It's like <laughs> he's talking about himself very again. Very inconvenient <laughs> things just keep happening. But, there's but that like, little we're thing. still surviving somehow. So the main purpose of this video is to just sincerely ask everybody out there for prayer. Uh, we need prayer that the Lord guide our steps and that the opportunities that we need are put there. And uh, specifically pray for our, our abilities to, 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 to get health care stuff like, like disability type thing because that's, that's been an ongoing process. But it's always you get to a doctor and then they just tell you, oh, we'll come back next month, you know, or come back in three months. Now, they, they schedule yeah. you out three months from the front time you've seen a doctor. Well, that's that's life, man. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it happens to everybody. So it's extremely difficult. Think of some alternatives to besides begging and hoping to uh, suck the tea to the government. Cult right now, and, and we need Jesus to intervene and make things start working for us. But Shani loves you and I love you and, and just to everybody that's helped us, your continued support is, is really what's making us survive. So God bless everything, everybody and uh, I'll see you next video. Oh, they are just, are they just a barrel of laughs? laughs? Riveting content for these two, riveting content. I mean, I still, I still like the uh, community tabs. Today was a good day at that institution. I didn't shit. Another one. Why does he keep talking about shitting his pants? What is this a thing? <laughs> why is this happening? Today, my day out in the institution, I got some Dunkin' Donuts in the plastic container. <laughs> okay. You know, that's a waste of money, dude. Alright, that's it. I'll leave you alone, man. I'll leave you alone. Oh my god, man. These, these two. These two. They're... they're they are... Like the tenth wonder of the world. <laughs> and I don't know if they're ever going to change. And you know what? There really is no reason to change, right? Because no matter what they do, they just get away with it. But I think I'm going to... Um, he uploaded more video. Yeah, I know. I just hold on. I know sometimes I have to what you call. I have to refresh. No, I uh, I already played those videos. I played the one from from like a little while ago. I just did those. But uh, <laughs> more. Yeah, no, no. He. Uh, I got. I got all of them. Ew. Yeah, all right, fine. I, I'll do one more, an oldie one, and then I'm going to call it. But everybody, thank you for being here. Like the stream, folks. I appreciate it.
What? Oh, no, that should not. I was like, she's talking. <laughs> One more, just to show everybody who Shandy used to be. Now, thick shades. Thicky. Do you really have to exaggerate things? It's no me, man. He can fat, fat shade now, dude. There you go. I got Ugh. Fat shades, all right, dude. <laughs> Oh, what is that? It's no me, man. He can fat, fat shame now, dude. Oh, hey. man, don't you look great there? There you go. Uh, fat shades, <laughs> all right, dude. You say I have tits, man. All right. You can fat shame me now, man. All right. I got a tit. All right. I just wanted to Gross. say that, you know. You have he, a tit? Yeah, because he he like calling you a whale, so you know you can fat shame me now, thick shades. All right. All right. No, he's cool though. He's an A cup. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. Okay. But the exaggeration. We need to go and contact people and take away her kids. Why? For people being wow funny. So see, even then, folks, even then. You think CPS is going to look at a YouTube video? Ha! 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 This didn't age well at all. Ha! <laughs> and see a man dressed in drag. <laughs> Obviously, it's a joke. <laughs> and they're going to take my kids away for a fucking joke? <laughs> Folks. When my kids wasn't even in present in the house when it was taped? But wait a minute, what are you doing? What do people do with that? Like, and, 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 and what, what if, what if your <laughs> what parent was us. a drag queen? <laughs> what if your parent was a drag queen? Right? Should they, should kids be taken away because their parents are drag queens? I don't think that happens in America anymore, Thick Shades. Oh, I think here that, we go. I think you're in the 21st century now. We're not in the old ages where people have sexual stigmas. Now people are a little bit sexually free now in the United States. Wow. In three years, Shani, you really went downhill. You went down and around and around. <laughs> You're gonna have to fucking get over it. Glassy, yeah, right? Okay. Me and him. We enjoy This is when they were getting high up in Colorado. Enjoy our sexuality and we like to express it. Exactly, dude. Oh, he's still around. Okay. Uh I know you don't get pussy and all, okay? I know you don't. I'm sorry. But if you did have a woman, you'd be wanting to enjoy it too. Yeah. No. Yeah, man. And my deal is, if I decide, if I decide to put on a dress and put some makeup on, that's my business, man. It's my business and Shannon's business. Oh my God! You hear him? You yo? He sounds like every corner drunk guy that I walk down the street and I go, oh, this is my business this is your business and you only really got dressed <laughs> yeah and it's not illegal and it's not child abuse no it's not you're no. abusing him it's completely legal that's exactly right and are you really going to tell an area that's liberal oh, yeah, right. and pro homosexual and LGBT <laughs> that he can't dress up as a drag queen? Exactly, dude. You're gonna call it child abuse for him dressing up as a drag queen? When it's completely legal? And children are doing it now? Exactly. <laughs> Participation <laughs> awards for for the best drag queen, man. I mean... Uh, <laughs> you, you win no matter what, Maybe man. you should try dressing up as a drag queen, Dick Shades. <laughs> I mean, you're Asian. Uh, I'm almost you're done. You're Asian, so you'd be really Thank you. pretty. Yeah. It'd be a perfect working situation, Ugh. I think, Vicky. I think you probably get more views. I mean, look at the views he got for dressing up in drag. Exactly. It's the truth, dude. I got <laughs> views, and it actually was ex it was actually enjoyable. So. Tell us how you really feel. Started, see, you got the, there's a bitch tit, man. You can fat shame me now, dude. There you go. And Fanny, uh, Fanny, 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 Fanny. 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 <laughs> Fanny. Fanny. <laughs> fat anymore, dude. What? 
How about that shit? Oh, uh, Revan is Baja Blast. <laughs> All right, then. Is that all we have to say? I think it's fun being on, but yeah, I mean... I think he's jealous that you have a bigger penis than him. Yeah, right. That's confirmed. I don't know about <laughs> that. Well, that's not... I mean, that's not necessarily a... a... Yeah, even Rev's like, hey, that's not how true. I got a baby cat. A, like, a definite thing, then. Like, that's not... That's not... Without a doubt, he's got a smaller dick than I've me. seen a lot of Asian porno. Okay. What? That's fair enough, but that doesn't... Again, that doesn't necessarily... Necessarily mean... That he's got a small package. He acts like he has a small package. How do you act that you have a small package? <laughs> you act like thick shades. Say again? How does you, that... you act like thick, sh thick shades. Man, Rev is like I, going it's through point. it. I would like Look at a memo him. on that. I think Donald Trump would write a memo on that. He's got tiny hands, so that is that is false. <laughs> that is actually false. <laughs> Why is that false? Because he loves the guy. That's actually false. No, <laughs> can't be false. The president has normal size hands, man. <laughs> normal, have a normal size. Normal size dick. And Thick Shades does it. Is it normal? No, Thick Shades dick <laughs> isn't normal. How do you know that? Because it's Thick Shades. <laughs> Alright, so we've confirmed now that Shannon has also sucked off Thick Shades. <laughs> Ooh! Look at her face! <laughs> she just said that, he, that she sucked off the Thick Shades. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her face. She's so angry at that, that statement. Well, Bruce was there fucking him in the ass. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's. I mean, wild... Bruce Shepard also joined in that too. The triple Sorry, R Sabella. Was outside repenting, man. Ra and Ran and Ron were out there with kumbaya things. They were singing kumbaya songs <laughs> and repenting to the Lord, as we were in there just ravaging the crowd, man. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> He is so messed up. I'm just telling the stories. You won't tell the full stories. You know, you won't do it. What full story? Full story, man. Full story of what? Uh, make me dizzy. Crazy orgies, man. Well, they're just going to have to find out in the next video. <laughs> Ew. What, what a nice parent, right? Really, really, really beautiful. All right, that's it. But yeah, uh, those videos are great. You guys really need to... <laughs> check those out those those archive ones i love them i love them because you get to see like how gross she was just that whole time and it, her kids were right there like literally in the next room but that's all thank you all for hanging out there's about like 100 780 yeah please like and sub if you're not and i will see you guys on the next one um have a good night and as always peace thank you all bye bye